Hi guys again and you will notice that I'm still wearing the same thing I'm still in the car because because I was traveling and because I'm always moving since I am here if you are watching this video later please do know I was recording while my mom was driving Hello. <laughs> darling. yes so guys it's working you know I was working and she was driving actually she's taking me to a bus station to go to another place another destination uh, pushing the brand so guys, I'm going to do the review about Botswana as a whole, how was the experience. So these are the good and the and the bad things plus the tips if you want to visit Botswana. Um, I would also say this um, to you guys again. My name is Nsigela Lungumala, proudly South African. I'm in Africa right now, in South Africa, and I was in Botswana. And I also do want to say I do live in Finland um, full time, but I do come home. Uh, frequently um or often guys i just did i say frequently was right or wrong mom <laughs> so guys yeah i do come home as often as possible so i went to botswana botswana recently and i hadn't had time to explain to you guys and tell you about the tips and the things um in botswana so we're gonna start with the best not with the bad things i'm not gonna say bad things that i think they can improve in as i do go to other countries and guys i want you you to understand this if you don't watch my other content i do review countries after going to the countries i do talk about what was good what i did i like would i go back to the country wouldn't i go back so my africans when i am in africa don't want me to start now not talking uh you know about some other things so in botswana we start with the things that i think should be maybe a little bit better fixed I think the savers uh, with the savers even the people inside Botswana were saying that they are still struggling with the savers um, in a lot of places um, when you walk in the shop I don't know if it's a culture thing but I don't know guys you will tell me because you know I don't know if it's a culture thing but they don't really greet you when you come in or if you are asking for help it's like they point the things that it's just right there you know um and they hardly smile at you when you are at the shop or you are at the place um i'll make an example with the hotel we were using it was very expensive mom chose the hotel she got expensive taste and i think that yeah i hate that so much about it but yeah she chose the um, expensive hotel guys i even i i i hit the name i did hide the name of the hotel because when we were going the last day there was a guy that was so sweet and was so friendly was asking us to would you like to have tea with your breakfast um did you like the meal you know stuff like that that makes you feel warm i remember when we walked in in a hotel my mom was carrying cans of uh red bulls there were like two of them and some papers with her hand in her hand so we stood and we booked until we were finished booking and then they were like okay can we have those cans um, I mean, when you walk in in an expensive hotel like that one, you're expecting that, you know, they're going to be like sweet and friendly, like you walk in, hi, mama, can I take that for you? You know, they don't just say, okay, give me your passport. And they can see you can't even take the passport because you are holding rubbish. Um, yeah, I'm just saying that they need just improve the improvement a little bit. Sometimes when you are asking for something, you need to look for it for yourself. This wasn't only in um, in the hotel or in the in the in the... I also went to buy some underwear, some socks in some shops. I went to the shopping center. And yeah, I don't know if it's a culture or, or but yeah, maybe they are just quiet people, reserved, which yeah, they are reserved, but yeah, guys. And even Batona themselves that I met and I was talking to, they were like, yeah, with the, with the, with the service, we just need to improve a little bit somewhere there and there. And then um now that was the only thing i would say that was um the thing i need i think was i need to improve on and now let us come back to the best and the good thing Botswana is a very amazing country it's so quiet it's so peaceful when it comes on crime they got more patient crime as i had when i was just doing my research around they got more uh patient crime or yeah i think it's patient crime where someone would be doing a crime because the loved one did something um, I'm not going to go deeper to other things that I did here, but it's safe. All in all, it's safe. Botswana is still practicing um, this law. What is it called, mom? To hang someone. 
Oh, it hang pala. It, it hang pala, People who doesn't speak hang pala, they don't know what is hang pala, <laughs> What is? <laughs> what do they call it again? I don't know, but this when you when you have done a serious crime yes. that you 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 get a punishment of dying. Yes. So yes they hang you so they're still practicing that which makes the country a little bit more safer to go to so if you are thinking of going to um of going to africa and you are maybe south africa because it's closer please do go visit botswana they got zebras so beautiful they got your um, your cows they said that cows are more than a uh, people which means the meat is more cheaper the meat is fresh because the country got so much cows they got the inside of the cows my favorite and i want to tell you they got this beef beef in botswana is the best beef ever and most people love it the way they cook their chicken they cook the chicken that is um a farm chicken not those lamb tutu ones you know the white chickens that are falling and they cook the strong normal chickens you know those ones yeah the food was stunning it was amazing price wise if you are an african person you live in africa when it comes on price please um go to the gym exercise your bank balance exercise yourself because the prices are quite a little bit pricey they got best education when it comes on education because the government um does offer and does give the student money you know yeah it's just like so much great things so now i did say to you guys i'm gonna give you some tips as well when you are going to botswana and you are driving and guys please go see botswana please do go and see botswana it's amazing Tanazami. there's nothing to be scared of it's a normal country like any other countries but if you are a thief you are doing drugs you are doing things that you're not supposed to do you're gonna get into trouble but if you are just a tourist you want to go and see botswana please do go and visit they got some game reserves they got some places that you would love to see i also heard as well that they got i don't know if they are the second country with gold or diamond russia they are the second russia is the first i don't remember what was that but someone please remind me Uguti, what was that but there was something that was amazing uh that botswana is also known known for and um also what i'm leaving is the tip when you are at the border at the border when you are packing don't put your shoes with your clothes because they're gonna make you take out the shoes i don't know what they do because me and mom our shoes was in the car but they did ask us do do you guys have shoes what is happening do you guys have shoes yeah do you guys have shoes in the car and we were like no we didn't have shoes uh, in our bags and don't pack your shoes inside if you are driving your car you need to pay for road license or some road tax something like that but you can buy it at the airport other than that take your girls put your girls in the car let me talk about oh i'm gonna talk in a different video about persona guys yo go talk in a different video about batwana guys because i'm just doing this batwana 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 videos but guys, any please pack your friends, take all your friends, take your girlfriends, take the guys, I'm a cheetah, and go to Botswana. Another beautiful thing about Abatswana, Botswana don't drink as much as we drink in South Africa. No, they don't waste that much money on alcohol on Saturdays. I did see it was more quiet, like people were tired because they do the much grooving on Friday. So you want to have fun in Botswana, Friday is the one, and then also Sunday. They were very busy also on Sunday, but I think because now it's November, uh, it's almost December. When I made this video, it was in November, so it's gonna get very busy. But Batona don't waste much. So if you are getting yourself from Batona, guy, I don't know. So you might be able to save some more lives. I don't know. But guys, I love you so much. I love you so much. That's my experience in Botswana. Botswana are very supportive as well. They did support me so much. So amazing. I'm going to go to Botswana again and, and again and, and again and, and again. Guys, I love you so much. Mwah.